Hey y'all, welcome back. I wanted to take this session and talk about forms. In this case, we'll do a daily report. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this into a project, see how it all sets up, and just show you some different flavors for this, how all this can work. So today's agenda forms. So they're pretty straightforward to do. There's a couple ins and outs to them that can make it a lot easier in terms of understanding how they work, especially when you're sharing them out and who can edit them, who can view them, um, all that jazz. So let's go ahead and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a form in Bluebeam. And with this form, we're gonna add in a little bit of customization. And when I say customization, just to pull in some, the project name automatically, job number, job date, your name. And then what we'll do is we'll um, kick this up to ACC, put it in as a template, bring it into the job, fill it out, give it permissions for someone to fill out, watch those permissions change, and then we should be in pretty good shape. So let's go ahead and let's bounce out of PowerPoint here. Let's jump into Bluebeam right here. So Bluebeam right here, I just have a pretty boilerplate like daily report example. And this is a PDF that we're gonna make editable. We're gonna upload that up to ACC. So this tool is one of my favorites in Bluebeam. If you go under tools here and then under form and then automatically create form fields, it'll go through and does a pretty good job of just grabbing editable fields. And in some cases you do have to do some, you know, some fixing. So for example, I like my forms to like go all the way to the edge of the line, um, things like that. You need to make some edits, but it does a pretty good job. All right, so now let's say we wanna bring in our project name automatically. So if we jump into right here from the Autodesk site, Autodesk has these customizations and basically what you do is you take this customization right here and you punch it into the project name over there okay so let's go ahead and grab this plan grid project name right here copy this and we just need to do this paste this in just like so and then let's do the same thing for our date right here plan grid report date I'm going to paste you in like so. And then let's go ahead and grab our project number. So this is plan grid project code. This is set under the project settings. We're going to go ahead and grab this right here and paste this in. And then just for like, just for showing, um, let's go ahead and grab our user name. So this is your name on the account on the account or in the, in the project. And I know I don't really have a name field, but let's just pretend we have like a, this bottom form field is like you, where you print your name and then where you would sign next to it. So let's just throw that in right here. Paste this in, user full name. All right, now we have a couple changes here. We're in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and save this. Okay, saved it. Now let's go ahead and jump into ACC. So under the account admin here, I'm in the library. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new form template. So let's go ahead and just create a template. So one option is you can import, but we're gonna create it. So you can import it from a different project if you wanted to. And two options here. You can build a new form or upload an existing PDF form. We're gonna do the PDF first. We'll do the build a new form second. I'll show you the differences between them. So let's just do PDF form here. So next. Let's go ahead and grab our daily report, drop this in right here. And now this is loaded, we're gonna say next, call it daily report, make it a template type of daily report. I want the weather to come across. So what that means where the address of the project is, it'll use that weather at that location. Let's go ahead and save it right here. Okay, now it kind of does this thing a little weird. I think this might, I'm not sure if this is a bug because this is a newer thing, but it doesn't bring across the name right here, but it actually does live there. So just, it does come across. So anyways. Um, all right, so now let's just go ahead and let's just create another daily report here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build a new form here. I just wanna show you the differences between them. So the difference between this is this is like a, um, this is like edit, this is built in um, ACC. It's not an editable PDF. And one of the drawbacks to this is that it, um, 
I'll just call it built-in ACC just so it looks a little different. Um, one of the um, drawbacks to this is that, like it doesn't really print great. So like, you know, if you have PDFs, you might on paper for a long time. Once we'll print like that PDF we've been writing out, the editable PDFs is the better route. But there is some drop, there is some reasoning to use this. And one reason to use this is you can be like, so for example, we can say like, let's just say, um, let's just be generic here. Um, materials delivered satisfactory. So like, let's just say like, and what we can do is like a pre-configured response. So yes or no, okay? So like, and then we can do add in what's like conditional logic here. So like if you say it was insatisfactory, it requires an issue, okay? So you can't do this with an editable PDF. So like if you are required to answer this question and then you say yes, you're fine, you move right through. But if you don't and you say no, then you have to make an issue. And I'll show you how this all works in build in a second. So let's just go ahead and just save this here. Okay. We have these two templates. One's an editable PDF, one's an editable form, okay? Now let's go ahead and let's grab these two right here. And we're gonna add these to my Nate's demo project right here. Down on the bottom right, add two. And while these add, let's go into our project here. And let's go jump to my Nate's demo project. Going into build right here and forms. Okay, so you can see here the two the two I just brought in, daily report, daily report built in ACC. These are all the samples that just come across in a sample project. Let's go ahead and just do create form. And we're gonna do daily report in a daily report, the editable PDF right here. Go ahead and grab this. Okay, so now we're running here with our daily report. We can see that the weather is coming across here. We have the project names, Nate Demo, project number, the date this port was created, and then Nate P right here. That's like the username, like pretending you were signing at the end. So let's just say like, well, I guess we'll do work is done. As we fill it out, not required we put anything in there, we could submit it as is. Let's just go ahead and submit it now. I'm just bringing this report, I'll be able to make any changes. We'll say that's okay. And then this report has now been completed. If I go back into my forms right here, I can see that this report is now closed right here. Let's do the same thing. Let's create a report in ACC. So remember that editable, not the editable PDF, the um, form. Okay, and then so if we go right here into our placeholder titles, we're filling it out. Here's our basic information. We want to fill out a description, location. And then see materials delivered satisfactory. So if we say yes, we can just move right on. But if we say no, it's going to say it's requiring an issue. So then I have to go here and I actually have to create an issue that is tied to this. And then once we create the issue, we'll just leave this all this. And then we'll just leave this all as is. We'll talk way more about issues. And then we have, then that requires us to create that issue before submitting that form. Okay, so now let's say we created the forms, we brought them in, into the project, but we wanna make sure that other people have the rights to edit them. So right here, notice this right here, because I'm a, because I'm in project admin, I can do it, but see how there's no one has been set up as a um, edit permissions? That means my other person won't be able to edit. So. I've had one other person add into this project. Let's go ahead and check out their rights in Autodesk build right here. And let's just make sure they can't create this form. And so what we can see here is form by templates. We only have these four, remember? And if I do create form, I don't see those, these other two I've just added in. So let's go ahead and add in this person into uh, the permissions for it. And we could even have, make this even be a little bit more fun. We go into members here. And let's, let's check out our role. Um, so this is a BIM manager. So we can do this in two different ways. So if we go back to forms, 
right here we go to templates let's go ahead and edit this daily report right here and so let's set up our permissions right here so we can set it up by the company level everybody in the company can fill out the form um, architect bin manager could have it so like that bin manager that other role I have um, we could also set this up as like project members that can do it um, you name it so let's just set it up at the company level so everybody in the company can set up permissions here to edit and if we go ahead and save it right now we've changed our permissions if I bounce over to my other person right here refresh this Now I can fill out this daily report. I now have the option to create it and create this daily report. One thing that's very important, and I'll harp on this, is if you set up a review here, if you set up a review, you cannot go backwards. So like if I set this up, and I'll do it anyway because we're in a sandbox, but let's say that, um, let's say that I want the project admins to be a reviewer on this, okay? So that means it needs to get reviewed before it's technically closed. It's in review. So if we hit save here, then when I come into my daily report template here, I cannot remove the admins as a reviewer. It's a permanent change. Um, I don't love this, but just if you may, then you have to recreate all your forms from templates. So you have to re-import them. You have to you, they need to get back into this project. You can't go back with this. Um, so anyways, just for thought, if you've a reviewer and you're like, oh, I want to review it, you can't, you know, and then if you get sick of it, you can't, you can't change that back. Um, single computer contributor versus sequential. So we can just change this. So we did single contributor first. So what that means is I create the form, I submit the form, the form is then done. Um, option two is sequential is I start the form and then I can assign it off to someone else make this sequential and save it and then I go ahead and create my if I go back into forms here and I create my form and I create my daily report now so we have the weather everything comes across but this is what's different is I have the option to assign this to someone else so I can assign this to members who also have editing permissions so I made this at the entire company level so I can make this um, to Nate's account two. So anyone that's part of the company I can sign it to. So Nate's account two right here. So say I do work is complete. Um, Nate two, please add comments. I can do this. Nate's world account two, and then the report is then kicked off. This form is currently assigned to someone else. You can't. Um, you can view it, but I can't edit it, so it's on to the next person. So anyways, um, just a flair for sequential versus single contributor. So hopefully this all makes sense with um, working with forms, getting them editable, some customizations you can bring in, and then um, just streamlining this whole process to bring them across with the template. So thank you, and have a nice rest of your day.